Alright guys, this is PEF number 11 for algebra 1. Looks like we're going to multiply them together, so I'm going to get x squared minus 4x minus 3x plus 12. So that's x squared minus 7x plus 12. Uh, this one is one of our special ones, so we just have to multiply the first and the last, so we get 25x squared minus 9. This one we're going to distribute 2 over the parentheses, so I'm going to get uh, 2, oh, excuse me, 6x to the third minus 18x squared. On this one, a little tougher, so we have to realize that x minus 1, we have two of them because it's raised to the second power. So I'm going to go ahead and multiply this together first. I still have the 2, so that's x squared minus 1x minus 1x plus 1, and then we have that plus 5 to come down. Let's combine our like terms. So x squared minus 2x plus 2, or plus 1, plus 5. Distribute the 2 over the parentheses. So I'm going to get 2x squared minus 4x plus 2. And we have that plus 5. And those are like terms. So we're going to get 2x squared minus 4x plus 7. All right, we want to factor these. So we'll multiply. First and last together, so I get negative 12, so I know I have alternating signs. Factors of 12, 1, 12, 2, and 6, 3, and 4. One's positive, one's negative. That add up to the negative 1, so it's going to be a negative 4 and a positive 3. So I'm going to x squared plus 3x minus 4x minus 12. Uh, factor out an x there, so I have x plus 3. Factor out a negative 4 there, so I'm going to get x plus 3. x plus 3's match. So we're going to have x plus 3 up front, x minus 4. Here's our answer. Number 11, multiply the first and last together, so we're going to get uh, negative 120. We know we have alternating signs, so factors of 120, 2 and 60, 3 and 40, 4 and 30, uh, let's see, 5 and uh, 2, 24, 6 and 20, 7 doesn't work, 8, times, uh, let's see, it goes in there once, 8 and eight and 15, oh, 8 and 15 are going to work. Okay, one's positive, one's negative, so it's a positive 15, negative 8, so I get 12x squared uh, minus 8x plus 15x minus 10, find like terms, or look what we have in common, we have a 4x. So that gives me 3x minus 2. This has a positive 5. So it's going to give me 3x minus 2 as well. 3x minus 2's match. That's what you want. 3x minus 2. What do you have left? You have 4x plus 5. That's in the other one. All right. So this one's similar to number 9. So that's negative 12. So I have alternating signs. So I have 1 and 12, 2 and 6, 3 and 4. I think 2 and 12 are going to work, so I have a negative 12 and a positive 1. So x squared minus 12x plus 1x minus 12. So I have x and x minus 12. Factor out a positive 1, I have x minus 12. So I have x minus 12 and x plus 1. Uh, factor on this one, greatest common factor. I can factor a 4x out of both. That leaves me x minus 3. That's as far as you need to go. All right, they tell us the area is this. One side is x plus 5. What is the other side? So what I want to do is I want to factor this. Okay, so uh, let's see. I have uh, negative 15. I wanted to make it negative 2, so I have alternating signs. I have 1 and 15, and 3 and 5. 3 and 5 are going to work. So I'm going to get x squared. Um, let's see, they're both negative, right? Or wait, this one's positive, this one's negative. Plus 5x minus 3x minus 15. So I get x. Factor out negative 3. That gives me x plus 5. So I have x plus 5 and x minus 3. So what is the other side? The other side is x minus 3. That's up here. Uh, find the area of x equals 7. Okay, we're going to plug 7 in here. So that can give me 12. So plug 7 in here. So it's going to give me 4. So the area is uh, length times width. So I'm going to get uh, 4 times 12. 4 times 12 is 48.
square units. All right. That looks like it. Thanks, guys.